I don't I, think I'm I, gonna beat the artisan world I, in one episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna beat the artisan level in one episode. Uh, it's episode three we're going on to, and we're still f***ing around. <laughs> I beat three of the levels already. That's true. Yeah, and there's only like four levels plus a boss level. In artisan or in the whole game? In no, in each world. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's not like I'm doing horrible. We're in for the long haul, Travis. <laughs> I hope you gotta drink a sandwich. I wish I did. <laughs> You're drinking tea. That's close enough. I don't got no sandwich. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, if you you missed last episode, uh, we killed some shepherds. I have no faith in him. And apparently, Slide has no faith in me. That just makes me sad. And no, that's the he killed one. Gandalf three times. <laughs> He's ruined the trilogy. <laughs> He kept respawning. <laughs> Gandalf only comes back once. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those Gandalfs were brown. He killed Radagast! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Aster! <laughs> Aster boy, fly here I know you're trying to make a reference, but I don't get it. It's <laughs> Astro boy. Astro boy? Did you never... No. Who's Astro boy? Oh, I'm a whole... Who is that? You You've play? never seen the cartoon Astro Boy. No! Alright, well, for those of you who are like me, remember Astro Boy. He was a robot built by a professor who, if I remember the story correctly, I could be wrong. He lost his son, or he never had a son, something along that line, so he made this robot child. And basically, Astro Boy was kind of part of the premise for Mega Man. Oh! Okay. Because Astro Boy, you could fly, and he was super strong, and uh, I'll just show you it later on after between episodes here. And... All right, that that'll that'll work for me. You'll see Astro see, Boy. See, this is what I didn't do in the Dark Hollow. Wow, you you disappoint me. And there's a lot more gems in the Dark Hollow. Well, this this isn't a completion run now, is it? Oh no, 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 no. That would take far too long, far far too long, and I would not have the patience for it. Alright, well, at least we've got that established here. We're not here forever, folks. No, it's not going to be a 100% run-through. That would take... Because that's like so many gems and dragons and I, I just... No. Just just no. Yeah, I can see myself uh, being one of those people who just has to sit here and get all the things. Yeah, you're, you're one of those people who likes, like, doing 100% of games? I do, I do. I, I mean, I... I mean, one of my favorite 64 games is Banjo Kazooie. Okay. And that has a lot of collecting. You know, yeah, yeah. Every, lo every realm has its puzzle pieces you have to collect, and then you have to get all 100 of the music notes. Okay. Yeah, uh, there was right. these uh, interesting creatures called the Jingos. Jingos. Yes. There's a Jinjo. Ah, whatever. There's various amounts of them in the world so you have to collect depending if you're playing banjo kazooie or banjo kazooie 2 or banjo tooie okay you know, there's in the first one there's there's one of each color and there's five colors in right. each world and it's a collectathon and you get to go to different worlds very much like uh, super mario 64 okay that actually almost kind of exact copy of it because mario 64 you go into paintings okay y'all ready for this Toasty. Ready for toasty? Are we gonna have toast? Uh, no, it's the it's the boss. Oh, of this oh, okay. of the artisan world. Oh. Um, it's very the, foreboding looking gate, by the uh, way. This is the only time you ever see a boss framed in this kind of gate. I don't know why oh. they didn't do it for the others. Maybe um, they kind of realized after was like, this is a kids game. Let's not make this evil. Um, they still do that. <laughs> ah, yeah. Although um, this this boss, I like this boss. It's a lot of fun. It's not a pain in the ass like uh, some of the bosses. But anyways, like I was saying about you know yeah. the similarity with six, <clears throat> the Mario sixty four and Banjo Kazooie. I mean, you, you go into paintings in sixty four and Banjo Kazooie, you go into completed puzzles on the wall, kind of like paintings. And you have objectives in each world. I and, <laughs> uh, are we fighting like Dobermans? Or? Uh, yeah, they're uh, sheepdogs. I think that is not a sheepdog. Uh, except when I breathe fire on them, they become reptilian. Oh, okay. I, I don't know why. Look, it's a little sleeping dog. It's so cute. Okay, yeah, well, Gandalf is... Burn uh, it! Okay, well, you shouldn't have attacked his dogs. If I don't, then they attack me. Wow, that is a brutal way to die. I mean, first he gets, like, cooked. 
And then he falls backwards onto his head and snaps his neck. Yeah. But he had it coming. That's mean. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> See, they're like little reptile dogs. Oh, I, 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 I am almost dead. <laughs> I oh. lost sparks. <laughs> My little dragonfly friend is gone. Yep, um, so I actually have to manually pick up the gems now. Well, at least for me. Uh, we're, oh, why we played a little, we're doing another little age there. joke, are we? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I wasn't around when the dinosaurs were. Hey, listen, me and the dinosaurs, we had some good times. Right? Oh, God! I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for doing an age joke. Okay, I'm just gonna speed past all you guys. Alright. Oh, you're, you're motoring. Oh, that's a wall! Okay, there. I'm safe. The important thing is, we have the dragonfly. Yep, we have the dragonfly again. Okay, there we go. I'm getting back into the rhythm of things. Are you sure? Nope. I mean, we wouldn't want you to get too overconfident. Or would we? Because, you know, you're really on your A game when you do that. Did that guy just jump in the air and spin his cane? Listen, <laughs> what Gandalf does is what Gandalf <laughs> does, alright? Okay, here we go. Right. Well, Gandalf, isn't it Ragash? 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 Radagas? Oh god! <laughs> that was, that, that's a dog! <laughs> that was totally a blind corner that just nailed you good. Oh, 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 ooh, ooh. Here we go. Hey, ho, ho. I'm gonna take out that guy first. But he's, he's doing shepherd food. Wait, did I just seriously come all the way over here for a couple of gems? Yep. Oh, uh, way to waste everyone's time. <laughs> Thanks, Slide. Well, you know, I kick just... me while I'm down, why don't you? Well, I mean, you <laughs> kicked me apparently because I was around with the dinosaurs, apparently, which, by the way, was a good time. Uh, all Listen. right, Nevin, what do you got to say to me? Hi, Spyro. I you just totally ate all the leftovers in the fridge. In Bring them on. I think I smell a barbecue. Oh, see? Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his no, sleeve. No, he doesn't. He, he doesn't have a single trick up his sleeve. Does he have sleeves? Uh, yes, he does, actually. Well, at least he wasn't lying, then. That's the boss. The hell? He's a pumpkin scarecrow with a sun. That's a pumpkin? Yep. See, look. It's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin, I think, with a carrot nose. Did you see what that is? Okay. Frosty got really suntanned. And it's actually a sheep. Uh, oh. Did, did he just flash the sheep jumbles at you? Yeah, it's it's actually a sheep controlling this. You know, see? Bad. It's, 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 a, it's a sheep. Bad. <laughs> oh god! Oh, you, you pissed them off! Did I kill both? I did! Yes, awesome. Did. All right. Okay. See? It's just a sheep. Come back, sheep. And I want to be one with your people. Okay, now there's three dogs. I see that. This is gonna... This is gonna suck! <laughs> yep. So did you lose only one hit there, or did you lose two? Only one hit. Okay. Only one hit. Well, at least you didn't get that badly screwed then. Where's the sheep? I don't know. Oh, oh god! god. Oh, 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 just... <laughs> there he is! <laughs> I found him! <laughs> I killed him. He killed Sparks! Uh, yeah. Sparks is... Kind of a dink. It just leaves you. I miss Sparks. Well, we'll probably He's get him back the only soon. redeeming factor of this game. Ooh, I got all the gems. You got all the gems. All a hundred gems. Yep. Of Did that you get anything special for all hundred, or just no? It just says just I completed it. Just kind of keeps you in track of how many you've got. It's like, yay! I, I did. You did it. You got the things. There. See, Sparks is back. Yay! And he just killed a butterfly. Cool. All right, now I think I can leave this world because uh, there's nothing else to do here. Well, I mean, there's plenty to do here, but I don't want to do it. Oh, okay, yeah. so you're lazy. Oh yeah. Hello, balloonist. The hell? It's the way you uh, get from place to place. You travel by balloon. What? <laughs> what is he? He's a balloonist. Well, I know that, but what is he? Don't question it. I'm questioning. Accept it. I think he's human. I think he's like one of the only humans in. Well, the balloonists are the only humans, I think. All right, in well. this entire place. Now we're off to the peacekeepers. You used his head as a platform. Yes, I do. How heavy is Spyro? Because I mean, dragons are supposed to like, have some mass. Yeah, but he's capable of gliding. So anything that has wings can glide. It's the flight that's hard. 
Well, you have to be light enough so you, his tiny stubby wings can actually, you know, keep him gliding. Yeah, well, here's Titan. And, and he is... Welcome who is apparently mated with a leopard? No, 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 no. His father made it. Oh no, he's, he's the product of some leopard gene mashing here. Okay, so, last world we uh, left was the artisan. There were a bunch of artists, creationists, you know, peaceful. Uh, this is creationists? The... Whoa, whoa, let's yes. not go this way. Yeah, they're, they're creationists. They believe in the one dragon god. The <laughs> one dragon god? <laughs> <laughs> And this Apparently is, this is a very <laughs> lore-heavy game. And uh, this is the Peacekeeper realm. Who have cannons. Oh yeah, I can fire the cannon. See? But... But... What Boom! Do, <laughs> what do cannons have to do with... And he's dead, and line up the shot, and he's going to die. The, the, the name of this realm is very <laughs> hypocritical. There is no peace here. Oh, uh, the Peacekeepers uh, in the... Uh, uh, the game book, uh, the manual, I yeah. should say, uh, are described as larger dragons that uh, keep the peace whenever uh, danger rears its ugly head. So there are a bunch of people who go around picking fights. We should probably explain to uh, our younger viewers what a manual is. Oh, yeah. Because games don't come with instruction manuals anymore. They just go, here's the game, and uh, here's a force fed tutorial. I'm not bitter. But yeah, instruction yeah. manuals were a thing back then. They actually had these nice little booklets that sometimes told you the story of the game. They usually told you the story, told you the controls, controls uh, what you were doing, yeah, what your objective was. Because yeah. you know, many, many games back in the past just was the title screen. You press start, and they throw you right into the game. Yep. No words, no explanation, nothing. Uh, Spyro is one of the few games that gave you the instruction manual plus a nice little opening sequence. Well, that was kind of a 90s thing where they started kind of explaining somewhat yeah. in the game what you Thank could do. Thank you for releasing me. Uh, oh, okay. Well, yeah, and then you get dragons like that. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me. I have horrible cramps. So, um, as the world, like, as you continue throughout this game, yeah. uh, the enemies get more and more technologically advanced. Uh, or well, I see we've upgraded from just running around to we have muskets. Muskets. Yeah, but they still carry a trumpet shield. that apparently shoots something. Yeah, there we go. Oh god, no! <laughs> <laughs> you goofed up. Hello, bird. Goodbye, bird. I told you I did not believe in you, and you've just proven it. You did not make that jump. And what is he doing to that bird? He's using it as a club. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, PETA is all over our asses now. <laughs> Don't worry, it was a quick death for the bird. It was still squawking! <laughs> oh no, the bird was perfectly alive. <laughs> Until I killed them. Ah. Yeah. So, so, uh, I, I believe in human this rights. This is kind of a... Uh, animal rights, I should say. Uh, I oh, believe we got if, here? If, if you're gonna kill... Some... Oh, it's Boris. Boris! Look how giant these dragons are compared to the last one. God, what has he been eating? He is like ripped. He pumps a lot of iron. That's all they do here. I don't think he pumps iron. I think he like makes it himself. <laughs> just makes iron in the corner. Yeah, he's just like, look. You think it's all just mining and everything? Look what I can do. Iron. <laughs> like, good God, buddy. Okay. Um. Look at I this can't view. remember the point of this. Look, Spyro. Oh wait. All that the light touches will be yours. <laughs> you never. Act, I don't think you ever actually meet Spyro's parents. <gasps> Spyro's an orphan. He might be. Actually. Is he a war orphan? Is there a dark, dark <laughs> past for Spyro? <laughs> Maximus. 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 Wow. Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. He's got like these awesome there, going back horns know. and this little dinky Before nose horn. Yeah. You think my back horn's the dangerous boy. one? It's this front one you gotta watch out for, ladies. <laughs> yeah. Or guys, hey, look at you. you know, if that floats your boat. Someone's a little self-conscious there. Is, is there a dark story we should go into about that? <laughs> is there a dark story? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, let's just 
we'll save That's that just, for a later we'll, episode. Yeah, I, I think uh, we'll keep the dark stories off the table. Hey, it's a now. purple gem. Yeah, it's worth twenty-five. Hey, don't spend it all in one place. I don't. You can't spend money in this game. <laughs> then what's the purpose? So you can brag to all your friends. Wow, that that one-up has a nice little jingle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you sound like a turkey. That's right. That's what that one-up sounded like. It sounded like a turkey okay. on a piccolo. <laughs> on a piccolo. I just took the turkey, shoved the piccolo down his throat, and oh, started oh, squeezing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of Dragon Ball's East piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next time on Lost Pixels. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> you just green and all grumpy, and then you just see a bird on top of him. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and they shoved the pickle on that thing. The turkey smoked. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> Piccolo, <laughs> Piccolo encounters his most deadliest encounter. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, put that in, Travis. <laughs>